you know you can link your Google Scholar account to your Siwu Libraries account? This allows you to search using Google's advanced AI searching capabilities while also seeing what you have access to as a Siwu student or faculty member. So go to Google Scholar and log in. If you already have a Google account, log in using that one. If you do not already have a Google account, create one. Once you are logged in, click the three lines up here, select settings, go to library links, and search for Central Washington University. Select it and add it. Now, when you search Google Scholar, you will also see what results are available through Siwu or freely available as a PDF. You'll see on the side here, there is the find it at Siwu option, or it will take you directly to the article, either through a PDF or an HTML link. Another way to link Google Scholar and CU Library resources is the Google Scholar button. Depending on your browser, it may be called an extension, plugin, or button. What this does is adds an icon like this to your browser to easily access Google Scholar from whatever page you are on. This is very helpful when looking at library resources and trying to find full text. For example, this is an article that says no full text available. You can either place a request using interlibrary loan, um, which is as a CU student or faculty, you can request any material you find either on OneSearch, other library catalogs, databases, websites, anything. As long as you have identifying information about the resource, like the title, author, publisher, date, etc. And this service is completely free. It does take some time to either be scanned and delivered to you by email or mailed to the library for pickup or mailed directly to your house. So I highly recommend checking to see if it's available right now through some other resource like Google Scholar. Because Google Scholar can search the web, it can see if this article is published either on the author's website, their company or university's digital archive of research, or maybe even the journal or publisher's website. Because you linked your account with our library, it can also see if it is indeed available through one of our databases, even though OneSearch itself is having trouble identifying its location. You can do this by opening up the resource page, highlighting at least the title and author, and selecting the Google Scholar button. It has found this article. I can click on the PDF and Here it is. Let's see this again with a different resource. So this resource says no full text, but it is listed as an open access journal. This means that everything from that journal is published to be freely available somewhere out there. So I know it is somewhere out there on the internet, even though OneSearch is not finding it. Google Scholar can help me find it. So again, highlighting the title, some of the authors, and selecting the Google Scholar button. So it has indeed found this. I can again select that, and it has now downloaded the PDF. Sometimes you may only see a link or web page for the resource, but that does not mean all is lost. Simply select that, go to the web page, and you'll be able to see the full text version either just as a web page or as a PDF download option from there. If not, like I mentioned before, interlibrary loan is a possibility for pretty much any and all resources you may need. So even if Google's can't, Scholar can't find it, not all is lost, we will get it to you somehow. So that was Google Scholar and Siwu Library Resources. If you have any questions about this or any other library sources, you can contact us through our 24-7 chat, by email, set up a virtual consultation, or give us a call. Happy researching!